Ist Healing, Single Pot Still, Virgin Portuguese Oak, Irish Whiskey. Let's get into it. Welcome to Four Leaf Whiskey. I am a little excited about this one. I have been wanting to pull the trigger on this bottle for a while, finally decided to do it uh, before it was completely out of stock here in Ohio. This is the second in the Wonders of Wood series from Teeling. So this whiskey has been fully matured in virgin Portuguese oak casks. Now, from what I could find out, Portuguese oak doesn't seem like it's real common in whiskey. It seems more common for furniture. So this kind of intrigued me. This is a mash bill of 50%, malted barley, 50% of malted barley. Comes in this really nice packaging. And it's got some details on the wood series here. Uh, the first was the chinkapin oak. This is the second. But it's a nice box. I actually thought this was water at first. It's not, it's cardboard, but it's still kind of a nice box. It also has um, some tasting, nosing notes on here. We're not gonna look at those. We're just gonna try it out. So this is 50% ABV. Now, I don't know if this is natural color. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the larger distillers do use artificial coloring. I So I, I'm not 100% sure of that. The nose is really nice, really sweet, really fruity. Getting a lot of vanilla, a little bit of anise. There's a little bit, of, kind of like a green apple. It reminds me a little bit of green spot. I'm getting kind of like a fresh cut pears. And a little bit of ginger. All right, I'm excited. It's launch up. So the first note I'm getting is that vanilla. Nice, creamy vanilla. It was a really good mouthfeel on this whiskey. It's really oily. I'm not getting as much orchard fruit on the palate, but I'm getting kind of like apricot, um, more of like an apricot jam. We do charcuterie sometimes. And it reminds me of the apricot jam that I use with that. The finish is all spice, and that finish goes pretty long. Um, it's kind of candy ginger. That's what it most reminds me of. A little bit of the, the woodiness. I'm a big fan of getting wood notes on whiskey, so I am, I'm glad this one is there. Really nice length of finish. Really nice oily single pot still whiskey. A lot of that baking spice, that ginger. This one would be really nice with cigars too, because I do almost get still on the palate just just a slight kind of a tobacco note kind of a, a note that reminds me of when i smoke a good cigar teeling the second in the wonders of wood series single pot still whiskey virgin portuguese oak matured this is a nice whiskey i am really glad i picked this one up i like all the flavor that you get with this tons of flavor on the palate this is what i wish red breast kentucky oak would have been yeah i went there wasn't impressed by that one at all i just found it lacking this i don't find lacking i think this has got a lot going on for the hundred dollar price tag on this bottle so this series i i'm i'm really impressed healing i really like that it's showing kind of an evolution and experimentation with traditional irish whiskey um it really kind of showcases how varied single pot still whiskey can be, and it really showcases how good single pot still whiskey can be. I think the spicy baking notes that you get with single pot still whiskey go really well with these spicy wood notes. This one is a really good one. I don't regret buying this one at all. I'm kind of excited to see what comes along in this series next. Another cool thing about this series is that Teeling is working with the Tree Council of Ireland, and every release in the series, they're planting another acre of trees in County Wicklow. So, if you know anything about um, Irish trees, it's a big bunch of red tape. If you ever want to fell one of them, there's not a lot out there. So it's really cool that they're kind of, they're given back to Ireland and we'll have these trees for future casks. So that's, that's pretty cool as well. Please like, subscribe. Let me know below if you've had either of the Teeling Wonders of Wood Series bottles. Slot shot.